Hello everyone, and welcome to a new game. I am Jayla of Rose Cartridge, and this is Necropolis. So, for anybody that knows about this game, you probably are aware that when it was first released, it was kind of criticized for not living up to the promises that it made. Not nearly as bad as another game that did the same thing. I won't name names, but it later was updated with what is called, or to be what is called the Brutal Edition. I actually didn't buy it when it first came out because of the things that I'd heard about it, but I've since, as you can see, purchased the game. And I've been playing it a lot recently, and I kind of figured, well, this might be a good thing just to kind of play and show off. It's kind of a good game. Um, it's or kind of a good game to just play here and there. I still haven't finished the thing because I apparently suck at games like this, uh, <laughs> but you know, it's probably fine. Um, I, you know, I'll play a black guard today because I usually, I've been playing as a brute recently. Um, and basically the difference is, hold on. Codexes contain the secrets of the ages. Within a book, the truths of the world are pulled asunder, except for those by Edmund of the, of the stairs. That guy is the freaking hack. Um, who ends the peace of my slumber? In my dreams, I saw you, adventurer. Or someone like you. No, I'm pretty sure it was you. But yeah, um, basically the difference between uh, the brute and the black guard is that the black guard can move around much quicker uh, and doesn't attack as quickly, or doesn't attack as hard, um, and has less health. I think that's the only difference, I don't actually know. Uh, you have found the necropolis of the Raxus. Behold, the layout of control. Study its portents and reflect upon them. I really like the kind of dry sense of humor this game has. Um, it's not for everyone, I'll admit that. Um, also, you'll probably find that I'll accidentally use items a lot because sometimes I I want to do something and I accidentally do something else. So yeah, your the typical attacks is just the right... Well, I'm playing with a PS4 controller, so it's a slightly different layout than this. Um, but, I mean, it's it's a similar idea. I don't have anything to cycle through, so I can't really show you the cycling through thing. Um, that's the shield attack. That's, you know, to shield yourself. Heavy attack to do that. But they cost you stamina. Actually, actually I think I have the... Th Hold on, he's going to talk to us in a second, so... I am Brazen... Brazen? Brazen head. Perhaps we can aid one another. You seek riches in an exit. I have a few slightly deadly errands that I'm doing. So basically, we do stuff that he sets out or sets for us to do. Uh, this is the old man, old man's necropolis. Essentially, so you can buy shit from him. Uh, I don't really want to buy rotten food because we'll find other stuff. Uh, these are just you can change the color of your character. As you saw when I first selected um, to play this black guard, I kind of was scrolling through and I chose the sea of glass colors because I like the colors on that one. Uh, I like equipping the stamina book because it means that you don't lose stamina as quickly. Um, put recipes to good use and craft bomb or something. Uh, which means that I can do heavy attacks. I can do charged heavy attacks without immediately losing stamina, I think. Yeah, just kidding. I do lose stamina, but I think it's because I was also doing shit earlier. But there's um, certain things don't take as much stamina or something like that. Why is it always mark the ground? I could have sworn we've already done this. Maybe that was before the reset. Uh, it's a slightly self-aware game I've learned in the sense that it kind of makes um, reference to the fact that, whoops, to the f to the fact that there's been restarts and all that jazz. But it's it's a roguelike. It that's kind of how the game goes. Um, I'm not very good at it, so I might actually die as the black guard because I've been, as as I said, I've been playing as a brute, so it means that I've had more health and more attack power uh, behind the things that I've done. There's also sometimes kind of random scrollings on the wall, which we ha I haven't seen any of yet. Yeah, uh, food restores health and. Yeah, food restores health and stamina. Uh, what is... oh, you. Go away. Um, stamina, of course, is used to dodge and attack, which is kind of a pain, I guess, because you can just... 
suddenly be unable to do anything if you've lost all of your stamina, but I guess it's fair for the type of game it is. It's how the mechanics of the game work, and it's... It makes you become a lot more aware- whoa, hello. I'm gonna just immediately die here. <laughs> how embarrassing. Um, it makes you be a lot more aware of what you're doing and not doing, I guess? Whoa, hello. Didn't actually get to eat that because things started attacking me. As you can see, enemies will drop not only their weapons, but also uh, typically money or... Whoops. Um, recipe components. I totally forgot the word for that. Just a hook to play. Yeah, so you can pick up enemy weapons. Uh, they're all tiered differently, and of course, different types of. Um... I prefer the long sword because it has a longer attack range. Uh, I can now cycle through her, so this was my original blade. Um, actually, I think that might have the same as the long sword. But there's offhand and main hand weapons. So, main hand weapons are like your typical swords and stuff like that. Mm, whereas, offhand weapons. Whoops will be anything that's a sh anything that's um, a shield or a secondary type of weapon will be for your offhand. So as we go through, there will of course be different shields that we can pick up. Um, I think you can pick up a crossbow of some sort. There's a wands that you can pick up later in uh, in later levels uh, or floors of the dungeon. I guess would be the more accurate way of putting it. Well, no, I guess they're called levels. Whoa, hello. They're called levels, as you can see in the upper right hand corner. Please hit. Um, <laughs> and those will go into your offhand, which is, you know, like the shield. Which I typically forget to use because I'm an idiot. Um, whoa, hello. I wasn't expecting both of you to attack me at the same time because I'm an idiot, apparently. Whoa. Sometimes the. Um... Whoops, I'm gonna die. Hello. Sometimes the attacks feel a little delayed, but it's because I don't have enough- or from pressing it to having the stamina to do it is what delays the attack. And sometimes I forget, so that often ends up being my death, because I'm an idiot. Um... But yeah, sometimes that's just really fun to do. Oops. You can fall off the sides, I believe, so I would suggest not doing that. I've totally not done that before. I don't know what you're talking about. Definitely done that before. <laughs> um, I, the last time I was playing this game, I made it to like the fourth or fifth level, and then I died, and I was really sad. Um, oops, we haven't. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Re I'm gonna probably die and have to restart. But that's now. Fuck. That's fine. Whoa. Yeah, as you can see, enemies can attack each other. Um. Oh, hello. Which is always fun. So you can essentially trick certain enemies into killing their companions for you, which is always nice. Um, I also like that enemies can be knocked down by attacks, because that means you get another opening to attack them without retaliation. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fucking die. Holy shit. On the bright side, most enemies will screech before attacking you, or make some sort of noise. Or you'll hear them advancing towards you if they don't actually scream like that. Um, which means that you have the ability to kind of oops, prepare for them coming at you, I guess, is the best way to explain it. Uh, yeah. But I'm not really good at the game. I don't I don't know why I decided that this would be a good game to show off, because I'm really bad at it, actually. <laughs> um, I will die more often than not on the first level, because I suck. Um, this guy. Whoops, no, I guess I'm not attacking him. Yeah. These guys will disappear after a little while. I uh, exterminated vermin. Haha. I guess they count as vermin. Uh, oh, hello. Whoops. Ow. Away. I have no food left. Joe's gonna die. Oh, shit. Oh, yep. Joe died. Some people heroes, others set dressing. But yeah, I'll play another one as a brute because I've actually been playing as the brute. Um, uh, yeah. Because, yeah, so see, there's different colors. So there's. They just are different. This is the default one. Uh, this is the one that I like because the colors are cool. Actually, no, the default one's kind of nice as well. In age before the, f the flanks of, s of 
Senator burned the cities of thought, and the Iron Lords ascended to the throne of ash before the veil to the second world was ripped asunder. Other stuff happened, I guess. Dry humor. What more of the outside world has set foot here? I didn't- I walked too quickly. I didn't like that. Oh my god. Yeah, sometimes the uh, dialogue will kind of mm, overwrite itself is the best way to put it. In the sense that if you trigger the next set before the first one's done, it will just go. Which kind of is irritating, but usually the dialogue isn't super, super important in the sense that you can kind of get away with not actually reading any of it and be fine. Um, right. Yeah, I, again, I like the stamina one. Uh, let's go... let's go this way this time. To the left. Yeah. So basically there's different levels of um, the necropolis. I try doing this, I want to see what happens to you. And so the, the the brazen head will give you different quests every time, and you can pull them up if you pull up the crafting menu, which is just, whoops, not that one. Where's the crafting menu? Fuck, I always forget which one the crafting menu is. I've been playing too many games that use, like, different controller settings, so... Ow. Yeah. Um... So that, ah, there we go. It's on the PS4 controller, it's like the, the weird touchpad but not touchpad thing. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the brute, what? the brute moves a lot slower uh, than uh, the blackguard. But there's also I don't actually have to swing at uh, all of the pottery things; they just kind of break as you walk into them, which I always think is funny. Uh, let's go through this door first. But yeah, you can pull up the quests that you have um, and like the craft. Ooh. That's not suspicious. Um, yeah, you can pull up the quests that are on the bottom of the screen, and then if you tab to the to R1, if you use R1 to tab to the right, you can do crafting. So, for example, I made a standard ration, because those are always useful. Uh, this will show you what you have equipped and whatnot. Uh, you can get different armor sets. Usually, as you go further down, you'll find or receive them as gifts. So what happens is that is, uh, as you complete um, things for the, the head, um, whoops, hello. Uh, yeah, as you complete quests for the head, as you go down in floors, you'll get, um, hello enemy, you're just little stuff up there, aren't you? Ouch. Yeah. You'll get different, um, what's it called? Yeah, so traps definitely kill enemies, which is always nice. Oh, that didn't trigger it. But yeah, of course they'll also kill you if you're not careful. Ah, here's one of the writing things on the wall is telling you about. So if you stand next to it, it'll kind of tell you what it says. To hear the tale of the amulets of power, five were scattered to the corners of the necropolis. Stay tuned for this very special offer. A lot of it's just dry humor, and it doesn't really tell you anything. Um, but I don't know. I always like to pass them by, at least, and read them. Uh, oh, that's a special chest right next to us. That'll be fun. Yeah, so... Oh, scroll. Oh, it's a recipe for an unknown potion. Wait, what? It does not tell us the... Potion of big boy's strength. <laughs> Alright then. So this is a uh, basically a merchant in this chest. And you can buy a lot of stuff. Um, mostly potions and whatnot. And they, these ones actually tell you what the potions are. Usually if you pick them up and you haven't used them already um, and identified them, it will just kind of say uh, some sort of... It's like a magical potion or something to that effect. So for example... Uh, oh, right, we didn't actually pick up a scroll scroll. It was just a recipe scroll. Oh, hello! Here's a crossbow. Oh, wow, that's a tier 2 crossbow as well. Yeah, so that's your offhand weapon. Um, as you can see, as I switch between the shield and the crossbow, you can use it. There's a scuttly thing above us somewhere. Here's more writing on the wall. After the defeat of Gravs uh, Gravx? Grav? Gravix? And the anointing of the legendary 13, Abraxas returned and shut himself away. Somebody was grumpy. Um, oh yeah, so there was a thing right there. Oh shit, I wanted that things. I don't- mm. There we go. Yeah, if you're quick enough, it doesn't trigger the, uh, the exploding. The exploding? What? Um, no, the, the, uh, the spikes, the spike trap, it doesn't trigger if you're quick enough over them. So if you walk onto it a little bit and then roll, uh, it doesn't trigger it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the brute and- Or, you know, that- crafting component could go off the thing, but you know, whatever. This is- oh shit! Yeah. 
Those, um, ooh, fuck. Statue's not happy. Plunder treasure chests. Sterling plate. Uh, something. What does this one do? A solid force makes your removal objects. Don't expect the brute to move very easily, even when he wants to. Mmm. I don't know if I want that. I don't really like... I don't like the idea of not being able to move quickly, so I'm going to keep it this because they're both of the same sort of armor class. So everything in the game has different tiers, and of course higher tiers are better. So that the crossbow I have is a tier 2 weapon, um, offhand weapon, offhand item, offhand item because they're not all weapons, uh, which is pretty good for this early into the, uh, into the necropolis. Um, I... But our our starter weapon, um, this sword that I'll be that I just swung around, is a tier one something. Aha! Here's a here's a. Oh wait, that's the same shield. Well, just kidding. The butler, the butler, but what? The footman's buckler is a tier zero, and that shield we just picked up for tier one. So clearly better. Uh Different things, uh, different ob uh, objects, what? Different shields and weapons will have different effects. So some of them might be the same tier, but one uh, one sword, for example, gives like ice damage or ice effect or something. The other one has acid. Oh, that's a that's a that's a wall. Ip the, mo Ip the mover, beloved of the spirits of the other side. In his hour of need, they did not help, but they greeted him when he died. Yeah, it it's just some fun stuff sometimes. Oh, hello, that's water. <laughs> Have you found the amulet of Seoul yet? No, just checking. What about now? Yeah, the head is sassy, which is always fun, in my opinion. Oh yeah, okay. Whoops. Whoa, hello, that's a lot of things here. Um, that went weird. Ooh, shit. Yeah. With the Brute, you don't have to worry as much about getting hit because your health is way higher and I think you take less damage. Um, whereas the Black Guard is kind of uh, more of a fast moving, you should be dodging a lot character. Which is fine. I just... Weird weirdly enough, I tend to do better with characters that you can just kind of take hits. Even though I'm fairly okay at dodging most of the time, question mark? Oh yeah, so that sure is a magic scroll, is what scrolls are called. Oh, hello, we got a scroll of identification as well, though, so we can just use that straight up. Um, yeah, so there's two different ones. I like the things, like the descriptions of the scrolls as well before you find out what they are. So, picture of a demonic overlord playing badminton, magic word, magic word, magic word. And this one is just magic words and a picture of a demon. But if we use the scroll of identification, excuse me, I'm yawning again, fetch. Um, it tells you what they are. So, scroll of worst sign. This one word which sounds like boorish causes enemies to be drained of essence, speed, and personal hygiene. Uh, I don't know exactly what that'll do, but it'll do something. We'll find out. Uh, scroll of the vampire, which is once included a matching cloak, but shipping was far too expensive. Oh yeah, drains enemies of health and restores your vigor. So basically, as you attack, you um basically steal the. I think it, I think it's health of the enemies. So yeah, I don't remember. If it, I don't remember if it's also stamina, but I know for sure it's health. This guy's gonna disappear in a second. Yeah, I missed him. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, certain certain ones of these will rush towards you and try to explode in your face. Ah, hello. Eh. I mean, it's not really much better than the sword that we have. They're both kind of the same. This one's shorter though, so it has less of a reach, but it can kind of stun. Not really stun enemies, but it does. Ooh, what's that? That's the same shield we have, isn't it? Uh, whoops, wrong way. I can't see! This one. No, it's a different one. That's a Tefet shield, and this one is... The shield renders you less vulnerable to being staggered. I'll take it, fuck it. I don't think I've ever picked- Oh no, I picked up one of these shields before, okay. I couldn't tell because it was in the water, and I was like, I don't even know what that is. Um... Yeah, so I'll show you how this one's a little different. Also kind of lights up things, as you can see. But it... it I think this this sword... Ow. It attacks faster uh, than the long sword, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I think? No, it doesn't. I don't know what the hell it does. It's different. It buzzes as you use it. 
it probably does something. I'm not really sure. The thing about games like this is it's hard to tell what exactly is going on sometimes because sometimes by the time you figure it out, you're dead and then you don't have the, the weapon or shield or whatever you were using and you're just like, well, shit, I'll never know now. Uh, hello. Yeah. I don't actually know what those do when they teleport away. If they just kind of disappear, or if they bring more enemies. I haven't figured that out yet. Um... But, eh, oh well. Not, not really a big deal, I guess. Uh, that is a hole. Uh, I'm gonna jump that hole, actually. Can we jump that hole? <gasps> yeah, we can jump that hole. Cool. That would have been our death if we couldn't, but you know, I'm gonna eat the standard ration because why not, right? Right. Sometimes I feel like I'm just talking to myself, which essentially I am. But the worst part is I already do this when I play games sometimes. Um, and recently I've been playing a lot with other people just kind of on a call, not necessarily straight up talking to them all the time. Um, and it's really funny because people that haven't been on a voice... Uh, voice chats when I've um, played games before or I was really confused at like just the noises and the sounds that I make when I play uh, Because if I get hit really bad or something really bad happens, I make a really weird noise and you've you guys have definitely heard before in videos, but um, Ow Ow, I'm being a little dumb about this right now. I'm not being careful like I should be uh, That's a treasure chest over there. What's in the treasure chest? something either this looks really suspicious. Ow! Yep, that's a spike trap. I couldn't see the holes. Fair enough. That's another spike trap. Uh, yeah, but I make weird noises. <laughs> I might have worried some people recently because they're very strange noises. Alrighty. Hello. Oh, hello rats. With three heads or two heads or something? I don't know, but two heads. Um, but yeah, they give you stuff for crafting. Actually, speaking of which, I want to drop this. Uh, no, I want to drop that because nobody wants that. Um, I don't have to make chalk this time. We don't need that many pieces. Whoops! Actually, I should show you guys what the crossbow does now that I think about it. Uh, let's see. Crossbow. That way. So if I... If I shoot stuff. I don't know what the other one does. I'm not really sure what that did. Okay, yeah. Uh, but you basically can use that as like a secondary attack. What does this thing say? Abraxas was Kopeshi, but was- wait, but was of Mandesh and not the Fane. Uh, the case system was not known for its opportunities for upward mobility. I don't know what that means. I mean, I do. We're putting in French doors. Yeah, some of them are just kind of really weird things that don't really make any sense uh, and are just kind of fun, whereas some of them are actually pretty interesting. I don't know what that is. What? Wait, oh, there's a scroll and a potion. Uh, what was that? Uh, what an incredible spell inconsistency. Nothing like it. Uh, what was the thing that we picked up? Sometimes I recognize them. Pic magic word, picture of a thumbs up. Magic word, magic word. Okay. Um, sometimes it's fun to try and guess what the potions do based on- or potions and, um, ow. Whoops, hello. Jayla's missing all of her attacks. Um, it's fun to try and guess the things based on the descriptions. Uh, the square con is once more integrated. Salutations. Whoops. Cool, okay. Um, I'm hoping that one of these- enemies will drop a really good weapon eventually, because um, if you get a high enough tier weapon this early into the game, you can basically one-shot enemies, uh, uh, like the weaker enemies, for the first couple of levels, and it's great. Um, I don't know if there's anything over here. Well, yeah, there is. Ah, uh, yes, I did finish a task. What was that? Um, Another scroll, isn't it? Oh, it's probably a recipe. What did I pick up? Ah. Lucian's energetic strike. Which looks suspiciously like. No, that doesn't actually. Just kidding. I actually don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, sadly, things do not stay identified between your playthroughs, so. Meh. Whatevs. 
Alrighty. I want to find a way to move down, but I don't know where that would be. Is it like sparking pyramid crabs? Yeah, bombs. Ha! Um, yeah, some of the pyramid crab thingies, I guess that's what they're called, will explode as uh, if they run towards you and actually get close enough to you, which is why you should kill them as soon as you can. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna... Wait, no, I came that way. I came from that way, didn't I? I'm gonna go with yes. Uh, there's not really anything in there. What does this say? If you see a gem eater, hit it hard beneath the gills. What What do you mean it didn't have gills? I don't know what that means. Ah, so this one, uh, this door will require you to pay uh, some gems to get through, which kind of sucks, but whatever. I think that means that this is one of the places you can go down a level, though. Yeah, okay. So if I get on this middle platform, it'll take us down a level. But if I move past it... Uh, this is just a way to call it back in case you went up or down on another... There's more than one way up and down on those floors, I think. Um, so if you've done it... Ah, uh, yeah, I have enough for a blessing. You've gained power in defense, meteorology, and weaving. Which basically means my defense went up. The, the other two things tend to just be complete random shit, and I always find it. This game has a really weird sense of humor, I've noticed. Uh, and I, I personally appreciate it. It's kind of the type of humor that I would have, but a lot more dry. <laughs> but I like it, and I think it's funny. Um, but I'm gonna check the upstairs bit, because up here, there's usually... Well, there is. I don't think I've ever seen a time where there wasn't. Uh, there's a very big wall painting mural thing. If I can, you know, get upstairs eventually. Oh, hello. That's a, oh, it's rotten food. I don't really want rotten food. Let's drop that. That's fine. Ah, yeah. So there's this thing, which the head will talk to us about if I go near to it. Yeah. A true wonder that some are able to find the time to scroll on these walls for hours or days at a time, while others die from blinking. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell any of this means. It could be telling of, like, past adventures that came through, but... Uh, oh, yeah. The, um... Uh, the old man that sells you shit is always somewhere in these areas. When I first met Bulls the Unstoppable, there was hardly enough brain like, brain to control that muscle. I never said that to his face, of course. He likes... The, the head likes to make uh, random comments here and there. What is that? A oh, fire sword. Hmm... What does it say? Bob arose like a dream from the west, and with his fire sword he burned the infected to ash. They hate fire like I hate Bob. Yes, I'm still bitter about this. <laughs> wow. Um, a potion of figure. Which is, you know, like a healing potion, essentially. Eh! I guess I could do this, because then we can find out what that, what that one potion and that other scroll is. So if I use it, it'll tell us what both of them are. Or it should, at least. Um... Philaxitus is death sauce. Well, bad news is just straight poison with no bells and whistles. Sorry. Right, so this is poison. We don't want that, so we're gonna drop that. <laughs> um, uh, this is a scroll of command. Ever want to say a word and cause all the enemies to free in place? No? Well, okay, fine. So yeah, that one will, I assume, stop enemies from moving towards you for a limited amount of time. Uh, I don't think I've actually ever come across that one before, so that's an interesting thing. Uh... I am- I obsessively break all the things that I can because they usually give you some sort of money. They give you gems, which is what you use to, um, obviously buy things from the stores, but as you saw, you can also- you also have to use them to get into certain areas, which is usually these places, and, uh, to buy the blessings, um, as you go, because clearly that's how it should be done. No. I've, I've definitely had to pass up on blessings because I was just shy of the amount of gems needed and I didn't have any- like I and I would go back through the floor and kind of try to find any other enemies, couldn't find any, and I was just really upset. Because that means I meant I had to go an entire level without getting another blessing and I was just like, fudge, this sucks shit. Um, yeah. Uh, but this side is just- uh, you can switch up any of the- uh, the things that you have equipped uh, right here. But I'm going to keep my stamina one because I like it. So yeah, it's the Scriptorium. I only have these two so far. Um, you can buy new ones if there's ones that you really uh, thought you might like or that you've been trying to save for. So right now I have ten of the of whatever these points are called. Um, 
but yeah, I, I've only, I'm not going to go through them right now because that would just take long. There's not really anything up there usually. Sometimes the guy who sells shit's up there, but as you can see, he wasn't. So we're not going to bother climbing up that ladder. But yeah, I'll go down a floor. Um, and that'll... This level is the final resting place for most of Elias of the Cloak. What does that mean? Oh, you yeah, have game save. Cool. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end this here, guys. If you can, uh, if actually, wait, I'll show you. So that gold chest is because we completed one of his, uh, his things. He said, Did you want Yeah, he gave me another one because we finished like sponge the uses. 32 things of pottery. Holy shit, dude. Okay. Uh, but yeah. So I'll leave this all here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!